Adams was the second president of the United States, serving from 1797 to 1801. He was the father of the sixth president, John Quincy Adams, and was also the first vice president of the United States, a position he held from 1789 to 1797. Adams was born in Massachusetts in 1735. He was the son of Lieutenant Colonel John Adams Sr. and Susanna Boylston, and he was the second cousin of American statesman and founding father Samuel Adams. He attended Harvard College in Massachusetts and married Abigail Smith in 1764. Although he was a strong critic of Great Britain's policies, Adams was a principled man and believed that both the colonists and the British should be treated fairly under the law. That is why he served as a defense attorney for the British soldiers who were charged with murder during the Boston Massacre trials in 1770. Adams represented Massachusetts during the Second Continental Congress in 1775. He helped Thomas Jefferson create the United States Declaration of Independence, and he worked to negotiate peace with Great Britain. After the war ended and the Americans won their independence, Adams met with King George III as America's first ambassador to Great Britain. Adams was the first Vice President of the United States, serving under George Washington. After Washington chose not to run for a third term, Adams won the 1796 election. He was the only president elected as a member of the Federalist Party. He beat Thomas Jefferson, a member of the Democratic-Republican Party. At the time, the candidate who received the second highest number of votes in a presidential election automatically became Vice President. Therefore, Jefferson became vice president when Adams was sworn into office in 1797. As president, John Adams resolved an undeclared war against France peacefully. He also passed the controversial Alien and Sedition Acts, which gave the U.S. power to prosecute those who criticized the government. These new laws were unpopular among many Americans, hurting Adams' political career. He was not re-elected for a second term, losing to his vice president and former friend, Thomas Jefferson. One of his last acts as president was to nominate John Marshall as Chief Justice of the United States, an act that strengthened the Federalist Party. Of the first five U.S. presidents, Adams was the only one who did not own slaves. After his presidency, Adams and his wife lived in Massachusetts, and the former president spent his time writing books, columns, and letters. He began exchanging letters with his former rival Thomas Jefferson, and this correspondence lasted for the rest of their lives. John Adams died on July 4, 1826 of heart failure, the same day that Thomas Jefferson died, exactly 50 years after the Declaration of Independence was signed. Let us know your thoughts down below. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching the History Stop, and we'll see you next time.